for the very first time, I'm Don Corleone and I do a little bit of everything on this space. In today's video, as you can see, I'm currently on a train. If you've never seen what traveling by train in China looks like, I'm going to show you guys today and how it looks like on a train in China. I hope you guys find this video informative. This is a fast train, by the way. I'm actually traveling by train post pandemic. If you guys know, the restrictions have been lifted in China pertaining to traveling, COVID testing. The experience is a lot better now. There's more freedom with moving around. I don't need to do a test or have a 24 to 48 hour covid positive negative test to travel it's a lot easier for us to move around between cities or in and out of china at this point in time we bought tickets for like regular train seats and when we came out we realized that all the carriages all the carriages are like they have bunk beds and this lower one as you can see has like where you can see i think people eat can sit here so this is what um the carriages on this train is looking like I think these are sleepers, like sleeping bags or something that you could lay on the bunk bed and sleep. I really don't understand the arrangements of how you're supposed to sit on this train. I think this carriage can house about six people each and when you come in, like your carriage number will be written here. I think you could also um, put your luggages under here. I don't yeah you could add your luggages under any of these they have light switches as you can see like little bedside lamps i think the upper bunk beds and the lower ones should have it as well i don't know how many rooms are in one carriage if you walk along i think i counted seven so far Ten rooms for each carriage. I think each carriage has one bathroom. Okay, it's two bathrooms each. As the trash, it's not the most. It's not the most sanitary, I guess, but it's doable. So this is the bathroom area. They also have like these seats here that I think some people could sit on, and I think some of them are close to like. Um, charging extensions. It's not much of a view either. I think this is my last trip I'm making um, before the holiday ends, and I hope it's going to be eventful and you know everything goes according to plan. I will take you guys along with me. Can you bring it up for me? Um, that's all you're actually supposed to use to come up as some never. So we we don't trust these. I don't know if you guys can see, but we don't trust these. Like. I don't know how often they're clean or washed so I, I just I couldn't I couldn't sleep on them. We have makeshift pillows or using our bags that makeshift pillows so I just I, I really couldn't and I'm sleeping on my jackets because I, I just I can't I don't know if you get it you get it alright I'm not trying to be like a clean freak but I'm just not comfortable with it. But um, seeing as it's a public space, like everybody and their mothers and fathers go through here and do whatever. I don't, I don't want to think about that. Just get some rest. I'm really, really tired. I'll chat to you guys later. So this is where you check yourself out, and you also get to do this when you're checking in after you pass through the security checkpoint. China. Normally in other parts of the world we have this whole luxurious expectation when we are booking hotels but that's not the same for China. They have like different meanings for hotels because some of them could you know be called motels in other parts of the world or where I'm from but here it could still be considered a motel based on the amenities that they provide but you know all in all they're called hotels and hotel in Chinese is called Jokie 
for those of you that don't know. If you're based in China, you can also let me know your hotel experiences, both positive and negative, down below in the comments. The price range depends on what you are getting because they're also top-notch, very highly rated hotels that could be on the more pricey side. You could get something decent, but you know, for a moderate price. So this one I got is for 281 yuan per night and I think that's pretty average so I'm going to show you what that could get you in China so this is the lobby I'm taking us to my room we're currently on the fifth floor I just wanted to say that what you paid for depending on the branch or depending on where it's located it could get you something better or something hopefully not worse uh, let's go and most hotels here will give you one of these this is like a card to give you access to maybe the elevator to your door and also to voila the electricity so when you walk in first thing by your left well in this room by your left <laughs> it's not like this in every room is the closet space this one is really small though we expected this room to be bigger honestly i won't lie to you but i think this will have to do for now because we checked the measurements online before we booked it and you know i really thought it would be bigger we also have a mirror here you could book your hotel like online or you could also book it when you arrive at the location of the hotel you want to be staying at and book it at the reception and the app that you can use to well i am familiar with using to book hotels while i'm in china is called ctrip.com a lot of foreigners are you know very very familiar with it you can check it out it's english based it's very very easy to use and you could also book trains flights look for tourist attraction sites and cities like it comes in really really handy or you could also use Dian Ping. Dian Ping is also a Chinese based app, but if you're looking for something that's easier for you to use as a foreigner, I would suggest C Trip. On the other side, we have our bathroom. Sorry, it's echoing. And there's a faint smell in here that I don't like. I don't know. Maybe after we aerate the place, it hopefully will get better. You can see we have towels provided. We have about four towels here. This space is so small. When you close the door, this is the shower space. I don't, is there? Uh, can you close this? Um, I think you, the same door. Oh, this door works both ways. So you could close this when you're in the shower. They have shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Every hotel should have this. This is a staple in every hotel. So if you don't have that, they will provide it for you. And then they have, um, Glass cups. Oh, this look dirty. Little toothpaste and little toothbrushes here that you could use to basically look at this and they're very soft bristled, so take note of that. There's a hair dryer here. This is already installed in the wall. It's of course the mirror space. I don't mind this. I wish they had like drawers where you could store stuff, but they don't have that and then as you're walking in this is what the room is looking like this is the bed space sheets seem really clean she seem clean enough and it feels really soft yeah everything seems very clean you have the phone to call the reception desk your light switches and we have this couch here we have let me just there is no <laughs> there is no much of a view guys we have this little coffee table here we have this little reading deck situation as you can see we have this lab we have an electric kettle don't mind this we came with it cups and they provide some tea green tea black tea here and some water you also have another mirror space here and then we have the tv there is a little safe here i don't know if you want to put money or any important things during your stay here i don't know if i should call this a chair or it's just another extension of the counter the table but i guess you could place some stuff on here if you wanted and you know they also provide slippers for you i really don't know they actually don't have any drawers they don't have any cupboards in this hotel i would say that this hotel is 
moderate it's not high class it's not low class it's just somewhere in the middle and it's very budget friendly but overall i'm going to rate it a i'm going to give it a six out of ten if i were to go to a more luxurious hotel i would give you guys a tour let me know if you want to see that as well and when i say luxurious hotels like i'm talking about hotels like hilton sheraton somerset grand hyatt like most of you are familiar with those names and those hotels give you skyscraper views views over the ocean views of the city not this one we're looking into people's backyards so um that was our little hotel tour you know see with the hotel situation sometimes you really don't know what to expect because you could be catfished sometimes because the pictures do not match the you know the hotel when you arrive so always be sure to check the environment the reviews make sure you go through all the pictures so that you're not catfished because some places make you pay an exorbitant price and then when you arrive it was all a lie or some places appear to be cheap and then you go and it's a rundown place like it you know be sure to check all the boxes before you pay money to book a hotel and this is not just pertaining to china it could be anywhere oh i forgot we have a vent we do have a vent here i think this could blow hot air cold air room temperature and it could be regulated from here i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know whatever questions you have for me in the comments and i'll get to you as soon as possible i'll see you in the next video bye